Hi, Dave Taylor here again, and this time I want to talk about audio. Specifically, I want to talk about audiophile quality sound because we miss a lot of the audio quality on the stuff we listen to nowadays and we don't really realize it. And that's where this fabulous little gadget, this is the Audio Engine D3, and this is what's called a portable DAC. DAC is digital to analog converter, and it's basically a little tiny amplifier. So let me pop it out of its packaging, and props to these guys for some very nice packaging. They did a nice job with their box. Um, you can see it is basically, assuming I can get it out, this little device. So it's pretty darn small. Here's a close-up so you can see what it is. And it comes with a little carrying pouch and a little adapter if you have the old classic big jack headphones. And basically the idea is that I can take headphones like these beautiful Bayer Dynamics and plug them into my computer and they're going to sound good and the whole thing's gonna work pretty well, but the fact is, is that there's a level of fidelity that's missing. So instead of plugging the headphones into the audio jack, the idea is that you plug this D3 into a USB port, and then you plug the headphones into that, and now when I listen, and I'm not gonna do this because I will totally zone out and you will lose me, especially with these beautiful Bayer Dynamics, but the idea is that when I'm now listening to any audio source, whether it be a streaming movie off of Netflix, or whether it might be something out of my iTunes library, or Spotify, Pandora, whatever, what this little gadget's doing is it's like magic. It's taking the music and it's making it bigger, richer, fuller, and stronger. So what it's doing is it's actually processing digital audio up to 24 bits at up to 96 kilohertz, if you know the numbers. And that means that there's a lot of headroom. This gives you a lot of fidelity. And it's kind of hard to describe what it does, but if you imagine that you have a stereo and you hook up an amplifier, and so suddenly, instead of your volume being maybe this much, you can now get way super loud. That's what this does. But it doesn't just make your music louder, it just makes it richer and fuller. Now, there's no magic. It can't find information that's not originally in the music. But it really compensates for the fact that with uh, modern computers especially, they don't have a vast amount of circuitry dedicated to audio playback. So. I really like this. Um, I've had Audio Engine DACs for a long time, and I really never listen to my computer music, or I listen to never listen to music off my computer, there's the phrase, without using this along the way, because it really makes that much difference. And what I would recommend, if you have a friend who has one, just try it. Literally 30 seconds, you'll be like, oh my God, I had no idea I was missing so much. And I promise you, this can make even the cheapest little earbuds sound way better. And if you're into high-end audiophile gear like these Bayer Dynamics, then this is gonna go from being an A to an A++ and just blow you away. I mean, if I put this on, like I said, I will tune out and you will watch me just blissfully close my eyes and listen to music. It's that good. So, here's the nice thing. It's also just 149 bucks. You can go to Amazon.com or you can learn more at the Audio Engine website. Now, hold on, because I'm not quite done. Because you see down there, that little red, you, little red square? That's the subscribe button. So here's what I'm asking you to do, is I'm asking you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, because that would be great, and then you'll catch all my other reviews. Now, back to this, Audio Engine D3, portable digital to analog converter, available at amazon.com for 149 bucks, and you owe it to yourself. If you're listening to music all the time, you owe it to yourself to pick up one of these, because it will make a huge difference. This is Dave Taylor. Thanks for subscribing. I, can, I see you clicked on it. Thank you. And I'll catch you in my next video.